Perhaps the hardest thing a designer has to do is find the perfect balance between form and function. This perfect balance can be seen in a lot of modern vehicles, buildings and even tools and utensils. But alas, not all designs get there, with some failing to do the very thing they were designed for and others just making you want to gouge your eyes out. Blech. Brilliant news! Number 1. The Bond Bug Designed and produced in the 1970s, as if that orange colour didn't give that away, it was capable of doing 76 miles per hour and was very light. Only around 2,000 were made and that was for a variety of different reasons. For one thing, 76 miles per hour isn't such a good thing in a flimsy car that only has three wheels. And the other is that it's really ugly. It's so bad that even that horrible orange colour can't make it any worse. Number 2. Airbus Beluga The Airbus A300-600 to Super Transporter, or Beluga, was named after the Beluga Whale. Although it's definitely practical, it has 53,000 cubic feet of cargo area and can carry over 100,000 pounds of cargo. It isn't pretty, it looks like a normal A300 with a lump stuck on top. The designer went for low capacity and aerodynamics and left aesthetics behind in the slipstream. Number 3. Ford Pinto If you look up the word bland in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of the Ford Pinto. Well, not really, but it would be the epiphany of dull design if it wasn't because of one other design flaw that it had. In 1978, Ford had to recall 1.5 million cars due to a design flaw in the fuel tank, which after a rear-end collision could explode. Although I doubt that even the fear of an imminent explosion could make this car exciting. Number 4. Vought V173 well, this plane's got it all, hasn't it? Ugly, clumsy and impractical. Yes, it was a prototype, but even so. The idea was that it could fly like a plane and then upend itself and land like a helicopter. But why not turn the propellers instead of the entire plane? How can the pilot land it if he's looking up in the sky? And why, oh why, make it so damn ugly? Number 5. McDonnell XF85 Goblin I suppose this one is more comical than ugly. Comical in aesthetics, it looks like it came out of a cartoon. Comical in concept, it was supposed to be attached to bomber planes and be able to detach and defend against enemy fighters and then reattach afterwards. And comical in design, it had no landing gear. Out of seven attempted flights, the Goblin only reattached successfully on three. The pilot was forced to belly land on the other four. And even worse was that the enemy fighter planes were faster and more maneuverable maneuverable than the goblin. Number 6. Pontiac Aztec Pontiac Aztec is Latin for pig ugly, or at least should be. This mid-sized crossover was supposedly marketed for the Generation X, but didn't really get there. It's trying to be futuristic in a mundane way, and doesn't really stand out for any other reason than that it's ugly. So ugly in fact that you could use it in a your mama joke. Number 7. Boeing 707-344C Falcon I like to call this one the Gérard Depardieu of the aviation world. Basically, it's a 707 with a clown nose stuck on it. It's for military use and is intended for airborne early warning, tactical surveillance of airborne and surface targets, and intelligence gathering. And because it's military, practicality is everything. Aesthetics, not so much. Number 8. Trabant. This East German car was aptly named the spark plug with a roof. The Trabant wasn't just lacking in beauty though. It had no rev counter, no indicator for either the headlights or turn signals, no fuel gauge, no rear seat belts and no external fuel door. The owner had to pour the two-stroke mix directly into the fuel tank under the hood. What's the worst design flaw you've ever seen? Comment below and subscribe to keep us alive.